Stop all this fighting, get back to camp. What do you think this is, Sarge? Who do you think you are? Okay? I'm sorry. I am sorry that I can't go out there and do this for you anymore, okay? All of this, it's freaking, it's messing with my head. So I'm done with you. You need to snap out of it. You know what happens to them if we fail. We're not going to fail, Carter. Now get back to camp. That goes for you too, Henrys. Yes, sir. Carter. You all right? I'm doing just fine, Sergeant. Well, we got a ways to walk. We might as well get going. What do you got? Uh, an, an assault rifle per person, which is uh, about 25. They have got a lot of ammunition. I've been scavenging some from the battlefield, I guess. Oh, wait. There's General Octavio. He's loading up a gun by the river. Shoot him. I can't just shoot him. The whole battalion will be on us. Eh. Looks like they haven't trained much. I can tell by their formation. Wait, do you see Caden? I don't see him. I know he went off to hunt right after the, the battle, but after that, I have no idea. Hmm. They all American? As far as I can tell. They've taken over a lot of land. He's got to have them trained at least a little. We'll have to wait and see. He's taken every camp from here in New Jersey. But he's not taking this one. Let's go. We gotta move. So, uh, how much water we got left in the canteen? Enough. Mm. So, Justin, mm? you got a girl back home? <laughs> Well, uh, no, but last time I tried was uh, at a Mexican restaurant. I, uh, I saw her, she was just absolutely gorgeous too, and when I went to go, you know, make my move or whatever, uh, I ended up tripping and catching myself on her chair, and, well, she never talked to me again. <laughs> Smooth. Mm -hmm. How about you, Serge? Uh, I'm married, man. I never really got into the whole dating thing. Oh. Where'd you guys meet? Uh, ugly sweater party during Christmas time. I had on a bunch of stockings and I was so sweaty from dancing. I really don't know how she felt for me in the first place, but one thing led to another and yeah, it happened. Just clicked, huh? Yeah. So what was she wearing? Ugly sweater. An ugly sweater? Yeah. A little more details. Like what kind of ugly sweater? It had Santa Claus on it and snowman's. I don't know. Carter, what are you talking about? I'm just curious to how you fell for a woman by wearing an ugly sweater. <laughs> Drop your weapon! Who am I talking to? Drop your gun unless you want to see Jesus tonight. What do you want? Hey Buster, how much do you think General Octavia pay us for three American soldiers? Y'all are quite rehearsed in this. Have you done this before? Yeah, we do a lot of ambushes, but uh, we made a run through Richmond just the other day. Richmond? Do you happen to know a uh, John Clemson? You know, I think I remember a John Clemson. He was a good fighter. He screamed when we killed him, though. Friendlies. 
So I'm guessing you guys scavenge your guns from the battlefields? Sadly. What battle do you get lost in again? DC. It was... It was horrible. The enemy was... It was everywhere. I... I got lost from my squad five minutes in. There was no looking back after that. I got knocked unconscious by an IED and... I guess they thought I was dead. Because when I woke up... That's what everyone around me was. I found Justin here with a broken leg and a Wendy's down the road and I made sure to pick him up and carry him along, but it was just, it was too much. So we set him down, we got him some medical supplies from a Walgreens and we went on our way. And that's when we found Carter. He was just, staring off into the sunset in an abandoned house. Well, that's our story. What about you? We all caught up in the battles of Georgia. Now I know I'm not crazy to ask that you guys have some kind of business out here. We're going after someone, uh, someone by the name of General Octavio. Now, I heard that he was the right-hand man for what happened in D.C. I don't know about you guys, but I'm not the kind of guy that's going to let someone just march into my house and kill my family and take my stuff, so I found these two guys right here, but my main mission is to kill him and his entire platoon that he's been forming. We were actually scouting out before we stumble upon you guys, but that's my main goal. At the end of this war, I don't care if we win or lose, but he's going to be dead, and I'm going to see to it. What are we even doing this for, man? What are you talking about? What am I talking about? Look at us, man. How many of us do we have? Five. Five. You intend to take on a whole platoon. A platoon of guys, need I remind you, who I think have better weapons than you do. And no, you're gonna tell me that a few men can make a difference. Look at what we have. We have you, a relic of World War II, I swear to God, you might as well be there. We got a beautiful mind over here. Him, I don't even know where he's from. Shay is of some use, and I mean, I can shoot, but we're talking about a whole platoon of guys. And this Octavio guy, he sounds like he can roll right over us. I was in Georgia. We had plenty of guys there. And that didn't matter for a thing, did it? I was still left to die. You act like I haven't thought about the statistics. You act like I haven't thought, oh yeah, they have bigger weapons than us. They have more people. But you know what they don't have? that I do, that we all should? Heart. They're not fighting for anything. They're fighting to get territory. They're coming here and taking our land and taking our women and taking our people for what? For nothing. They're taking orders from General Octavio and whoever the heck else is running this thing because it's their job. They're fighting for money. They're fighting for property. They're fighting for... for no reason. Is that what you want? You want a big speech? Well, there you go. Now but you shut up and listen to me. Or else you're gonna die on the battlefield like the rest of your platoon. You're gonna die like the kids in Georgia and the people in D.C. I guarantee you, we will end up victorious. So, you boys got girls back home? 
Nah, man. I ain't about that life. Ain't got a girl to care about me anyhow. What about you, Collins? You look like some of the girls would be crawling all over. Yeah, actually, um, I have a fiance waiting for me back at home. Well, look at you getting a quick start. The thing is, I don't really know where she is right now. Last time I saw her was before I left her boot camp. That's when I proposed to her. With this war, I don't know if I'll ever find her, but I promise I will. I'm sure you'll find her. You look like a good soldier. My mom always said that the best soldiers get the prettiest girls, so just keep your head up. I find that you American soldiers like to be heroes. You think America's got some sort of chance. But what are you gonna do? There's still a country left. Do you think that taking land would do anything? Killing your own neighbors? All the forces in the world are not as powerful as an idea whose time has come. If you really had the power, you wouldn't have to say it. You're just a coward. You're afraid of someone stopping you. I know you know who they are! There are soldiers out there, and I know you've seen them! Up until this point, I've been nice. If you want to be the hero here, be my guest. But you don't get to die until I give you permission. Okay! Okay! I'll tell you! There are three. Three American soldiers. Out in the woods. I don't know where they are now, but they're close. Maybe just a few miles away. They've been scouting you guys for days. Thank you for your help. So, Sergeant Owens. Yeah. I couldn't help but wonder, what's your story? What are you talking about? I mean, you're definitely the most patriotic person I've ever met. And I've just never seen someone with, with every step have so much drive and passion for their country as you did. I can't help but think there's something behind it. I was wondering if I was able to know. I don't really want to talk about it. Look, there's, what, five of us out here? Who am I going to gossip to? Okay. I grew up in a very military-oriented family. My grandpa was in the Air Force, and my dad was in the Army. Needless to say, they wanted me to carry on the tradition of fighting for my country, but I never really wanted to do that. I always wanted to be a pro baseball player. I know, I know that sounds silly, but since I was five years old, I always knew that's what I wanted to do. But, uh, no, my dad, he wouldn't have it. He was always in the military. He'd always be so proud of me after games, but he always looked at baseball as a hobby. He'd tell me, Jason, baseball is America's pastime. Nothing more. My senior year of high school, played without a doubt the best game of my life. Almost pitched a perfect game, hit pretty well too. Helped my school win its third straight state championship. There were a bunch of schools looking at me. So I uh, got the bright idea of telling my dad I didn't want to go into the military. I told him I wanted to go play college baseball, maybe even the pros. And he laughed, thought I was joking. Until I started pulling out letters from colleges that had contacted me. And then he got serious real quick. And he flipped. I'm talking loud screams, flipping chairs, yelling at me, you are going into the military. 
And that's final. We got into a shouting match over every little thing that I had been building up my entire life. I stormed upstairs and slammed my door shut, sat in my room in the silence for what seemed like forever. When I was finally able to fall asleep, I heard noises downstairs. I'm a pretty heavy sleeper, so it takes a lot to wake me up. I get out of bed, I open my door, when all of a sudden, pow, I hear a gunshot downstairs. I run downstairs and the first thing I see is my door. It's my house, broken in its hinges. I get more down the stairs, I look around the corner, and there's my dad lying in the middle of our living room floor, yelling for help. I run over to him, start putting pressure on his wounds, saying, Dad, Dad, what's going on? What happened? He didn't say anything. He looks at me, grabs my hands, and says, Jason, protect your family and your country. And then he dies. He dies while I was holding him in my arms, crying my eyes out. He died, not on the battlefield, no. 30 years of service, not a scratch. He died because some idiot wanted our flat screen. After his funeral, I swore to myself, I wouldn't let him die in vain. That's what I'm fighting for. I'm fighting for this country. I'm not gonna let some idiots who think it's time for a revolution take over. I swear to you, we're gonna win this. Not for me, not for you, for America. I'm really sorry about your dad. I'm all right, it's just, this is my house. Clear. 
I'm gonna go check upstairs. Looks like this place might have been ransacked by some bandits or something. Justin, you might want to come see this. Two suppressing fire on the window, go! I don't see anyone, sir! Look at the back! Two and four, clear the kitchen! Five, check out back! Stack up, stack up! Jason! Now! I need some cover! Collins, <coughs> Collins, find some medical supplies. <laughs> Forrest, get some rags and come wrap this wound. No, no. Don't waste any of the medical supplies on me. Henrys, I'm not letting you die. Don't worry about it. This is where my family died. I'll be with them soon. I'll be able to see my mom again. We can't find anything. The place has been ransacked. You fought well, Sergeant. Don't worry about me. Henrys! 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 We got to move.
Where's Carter? I can't do this anymore. Carter? Carter, put the gun down. You don't need me in this. There is no reason for yes, me here. Do. We have a whole camp of people that are waiting to be saved, so put the gun down. I can't save them! Yes, you can. I can't! Carter, put it down. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Now remember, do not fire unless they fire first. Hey! What are you doing? Get over here! Whoa, 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 Weapons down, boys. We're just trying to help. Drop your weapons, they're gonna blow your cap off! Listen to me, you got a platoon of terrorists headed your way. If you don't listen to me, all of you will be dead by morning. How do I know this ain't some trick? Sergeant Owens, 3rd Brigade, U.S. Army. At ease, boys. Now what do you mean by a platoon head in my way? After the terrorists attacked D.C., they killed almost everyone in Virginia. As of right now, this is all he's got. There's only a few dozen people here. Exactly. Out of all the men that we did have, most of them that got killed. And all the weapons we got, we had to scavenge from the battlefields of Virginia. Hello, guys. Mama. Yeah. Did you do a fish bun? What's the plan now, Sergeant? Clear! Clear! 
that window! Owens, we got men trying to flank us from both sides! Over! Roger that, Mason. Grab your fire team and pull back to those back gates. Defend the gates. We cannot lose those gates! Roger that. You guys are up. Let's move. Take point. Fall back to third position! Collins! Blow it now! Roger that. Push him back. Stay behind me. Yes, sir. On my mark. They're coming to you. Give me cover fire. Give me some cover fire. I'm going to take him down. My watch. For a marriage.
Jericho! <laughs>